job leading immigration equality's impressive expansion. Incidentally, Rachel, I must tell you this, that uh, today I gave the commencement speech at Cooper Union, which is one of the great engineering schools, architectural schools, and art schools in the country. It is also one of the schools where a bunch of students has occupied the president's office for the last month. But um, I stood on the stage where you introduced me when we were campaigning for marriage equality in New York, and maybe that was one of the turning points. It was uh, had a lot of coverage, and a lot of people stopped back and sat back and said, "Well, you know, maybe the government shouldn't be in the business of telling you who you can love and who you should sleep with, who you who you should marry." And uh, we've made some progress there. We still have a long ways to go in this country. Uh, but uh, I will say that uh, immigration equality really has an impressive expansion, along with Chairman Joe Landau and the organization's outstanding board. So congratulate all of you. And, uh, let me also congratulate all of tonight's honorees who are on the front lines of the fight to make our nation fairer and more free. And of course, I did want to thank all of you for your commitment and generosity which makes so much of immigration equality's work possible. Now that work includes helping hundreds of LGBT and HIV positive people fleeing persecution abroad find a safe haven here in the US. It also includes forging new coalitions while strengthening existing partnerships in the fight to fix our nation's broken immigration system. And I'm proud that one of the groups Immigration Equality has fought alongside is the Partnership for a New American Economy, which is a bipartisan coalition of mayors and business leaders from around the country that I helped form back in 2010. And that coalition has grown to more than 500 members and includes a number of companies like Goldman Sachs that have partnered directly with Immigration Equality to support LGBT inclusive immigration reform. Together, as you know, we have been urging Congress to take action, and it's a very encouraging start that uh, after years of political bickering, political gridlock, a real bipartisan immigration reform bill is being considered in the Senate. At the same time, I will say that nobody is more disappointed than me uh, that the bill does not include a provision eliminating discrimination against LGBT families. In America, I was taught to believe that the guarantees of liberty and justice for all are not just for some. And this immigration bill does underscore how much more work I think that we have to do to fulfill those guarantees and ensure that LGBT Americans are recognized and respected as full citizens in every corner of our great nation. I don't think there's any question that that day is coming, and it's coming sooner than many politicians in Washington think, if you go back and you look at the history of progress in America from 237 years ago when this country was formed, it has gone in fits and starts, but it has continued to grow. And today, women have the vote. Today, African Americans are treated as equal citizens. Uh, today, the LGBT community is accepted in more places than ever before, and we brought marriage equality to a number of states, as Rachel mentioned. The American people are way out in front of the politicians on a lot of things. They're way out in front on sensible gun regulations to keep guns out of the hands of criminals and people who are mentally ill. They are way ahead of the government on immigration reform and the need for it. And they certainly are way out ahead on LGBT equality. And that's why it's so important that we use this bill to continue to fight, to continue to make it better. Uh, while this bill is headed for the Senate uh, in, a situa in a status that is far from perfect, yeah, I think will open the door to millions of opportunity, uh, for opportunity to millions of people, hardworking people yearning to come here for a better free life, including many uh, in the LGBT community. What it doesn't do is it doesn't guarantee LGBT people the same rights as others in the bill and we have to work to fix that. It includes many important provisions, as Rachel mentioned, including the DREAM Act, a path to citizenship, and more STEM visas and H-1B visas. And it would strengthen our economy, our democracy, and our communities, and that's why I think it will get passed. But we are gonna have to continue working together to ensure that immigration reform passes, and we must also redouble our efforts in the fight for full equality 
for every individual in this country, for every family who has a, has to navigate our immigration system. Immigration equality is an important voice in this debate, and I just want to thank all of you for your helping to ensure that that voice continues to be heard. Before you turn out the lights tonight, just take a look in the mirror. You've done a wonderful thing by coming here. This is a battle worth fighting, and all things that are good are worth fighting for. There's nothing I know that's free. The freedoms that we do have and the reason we have to continue to expand those freedoms to everybody and the opportunity to do so are guaranteed by the young men and women who for the last 200 plus years have put their lives on the line, sometime paying the ultimate price to make sure that we do have the freedoms we do. We've just got to take it one step further. God bless and thank you. Great, great, great.